the whole purpose of I feel like them creating AI is to have some sort of intelligence that's beyond us in a sense, something that can calculate things that Do we the can't faster. Yeah, but what if they create this AI and then this AI is looking at them like, yo, you know that this is wrong, right? Y'all been preaching this your whole life, but this whole zero times zero one passes. ordeal. You know what I mean? And they're and they're and they're creating different things with a different thought process, with different math. And, and sure. you come to realize that, oh shit, what if people were actually stifling us purposely throughout math? So we can't well, said, get and achieve these 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 ob objectives that maybe they're already able to achieve. doesn't make video. it no because i got everything for y'all so y'all can comment on the shit listen oh, i'm just going to start off the going podcast blind. that's listen. what it is no nah, i'm just telling y'all what it is it's, we here we here so as y'all can see this clip yeah. right here been circling all over the fucking internet like crazy everybody's like been you. posting everybody's been reposting it revenge killing of a dad his his son was killed by cops supposedly Cop killed his son as he was reaching for his insurance. And the cop seemingly kept his job. So this guy goes and kills his dude's daughter at the prom. Everybody's like, wow, man. Like, it, I think I'm not too mad at it. Like, it is a revenge killing. I don't think the kids deserve to die. But the cop should have been taught a lesson. Everybody's in the uproar. Everybody's posting it. Fucking all you see all over fucking social media, especially fucking TikTok. They made about a dozen fucking TikTok reels about this shit. And I know y'all seen them all. You've seen every last one of them. Everybody going into details of how they felt about the story. And people was one. like, you know, yeah. And he was like, how did you feel about it when you seen it? Just tell me how y'all felt and then I'm going to get to the next part. Of it. When you I'm going I scroll, I scroll, saw it, heard somebody talk about it for like five seconds and I kept scrolling. But, um, when I saw it, I was like, wow, that's what people all over the world, not all over the world, but a lot of people would want to do it. They want to do stuff like that. I'm not a person who would do that because, you know, mm -hmm. like I let I let God get his revenge. I, I don't I don't do that. But you would want to the animalistic side of you wants to do that. So, they, they, I mean, I'm wondering, it always sparks the whole thing of the, the whole black versus white uh Regular people versus the cops, uh, racist mm -hmm. cops, happy you on the trigger. Finally, one gets what he deserved. Fucked up. I also look at it as a fucked up situation. Like, hey man, this kid didn't deserve to die because of her father's mistake. Mm -hmm. And I was, that's how I felt when I was seeing that's it. And I, I kept look. Yeah, that's what I thought. And then I kept looking at this shit. Like, damn, did this really happen? Because I really haven't heard anything other than TikTok breaking it out. Yeah. So, did a little digging, and this video came to me. We'll play the video, and we can react to that there. All right, thanks so much. Well, Fox 2 is working for you to separate facts from fiction in a time when there's no shortage of misinformation out there. The goal of the Fox 2 reality check is to verify the things you're seeing online, like this story you might have heard over the last couple of days. This is truly a story of grief taking hold of you. Revenge killing at a prom. Men avenge his son death by murdering cops' daughter. Douglas Barnes was arrested for the murder of 17-year-old Samantha McCaffrey at her high school prom. The incident occurred on Friday evening outside Livonia High School, leaving the community in shock and mourning. So that would definitely be the kind of story that makes headlines. So if you're wondering why no news outlets have reported on it, there is a simple answer. It's fake. The story originated from a TikTok account called DAX News. It's an account that creates and promotes 100% made up stories and passes them off as real. Until last night, the account claimed to be news, but overnight they changed their bio, claiming this was all a social media experiment, Jay. Hmm. 
to determine this story was made up, it only took a small amount of research. First of all, Livonia High School does not exist. Second, no person named Douglas Barnes lives in Michigan. Third, the picture of the mug shot in the video, well, if you put it through Google reverse image search, you find it tied to a bunch of other made up stories. Additionally, Livonia police confirmed to us that this story never existed and is completely fake. And going back to that mug shot used in the story, we did put it through an artificial intelligence image analysis tool, and it was determined to be 83% likely an AI generated image. Hmm. And we dug a little deeper and confirmed this image was generated specifically by an AI tool called Mid Journey. A few months ago, as part of our Inside AI series, we spoke to a team of experts at Oakland University about an AI generated picture and videos that are used to trick people. Here's one thing they said that really stuck out to us. Do you think that fake news was bad in the last election? Wait for this one. Uh, you're going to see things and people are going to want to believe that they're true and they're going to be 100% fake. I like to say that sooner or later CNN is going to air something is going to be 100% fake and the world's going to change on a dime. Be skeptical. You know, that, that's going to be your number one defense. Be skeptical. You know, I saw a great meme on Facebook the other day. Treat every day as if it were April Fool's Day and have that kind of skepticalness. And that's that's okay. crazy. That's a yes. crazy statement to say. Treat every day like it's April Fool's Day. Yeah. Everybody Which wants to fool you and everybody wants to sell you. That's yeah. it. So that would, you know, lately on social media, a lot of older folks <laughs> just be getting these fucking stories and these TikTok, these TikTokers, man, that just want the views to go up, just be promoting these bullshit ass stories and you got to look at them like is it real or is it fake damn it's fucked up if it's real and who would make it and and if it's fake who is fucking making it and why like stories like that like try to push that whole narrative of you know sending us into fucking chaos how, how long y'all think we had ai how long yeah, do you think we've had it in, in its current capacity? Well, we probably had AI for at least over five years, five, six years. I say while. longer. I say longer. At this in capacity? Its current, at, at its current capacity, yeah. I say longer. Yeah. If you say longer, because it's, it's available most, to the public. Yeah. That shit right here mm -hmm. has been available, just like the internet. The internet started off as a. It's a government tool that they finally release to the public that they can use, which most stuff start off as government has it first or military use or government use, and then they make it available for civilian use. Yeah, that that's so that's that's the thing. The government's going to if it's something that they can use, they're going to purchase the patent or they're going to whatever they have to do. I'm not going to sit here and act like I know. But the point being is that we've heard about AI for years. So if we've heard about AI for years like artificial intelligence in other shit, then that means it's been a term that's been used for years. And I've, I've been hearing about AI for at least 20 years, like maybe even longer, if you're talking about the Terminator and all that shit, artificial intelligence. So to me, I feel like a lot of this stuff is has been guided by AI or at least some type of system for years, fake news and all that shit. I think it's, it's already been... News has already been skewed to make the public react, going from storms that are coming, storms that are coming to have you go and purchase a bunch of stuff from the store. I know y'all so know what I, that is when you go yeah, in the ship, uh, be all sold out. But how, and, which is fucking, this is fucking dangerous. Like this whole AI thing is very, very dangerous. Like especially... You know, think about think about the George Floyd incident, man, and how crazy fucking when he was murdered, how crazy the rail got at one point, man. You had people protesting, and as people was peacefully protesting, you had plants in there making it look like a violent protest and looting, which, you know, mob mentality is if the mobs are going one way, everybody goes that way. You know what I'm saying? Who's to say AI can eventually create a story that gets you so upraged that another incident like that breaks out? 
think it already say, hasn't already happened. I think it already uh, happened. I mean, think about like, and I'm not, and I'm, I'm only using this as an example, and I'm not saying that this is AI created or anything like that. But all the wild shit that we've seen, like school shootings or ma- uh, or mass shootings and shit like that, and I'm gonna use Columbine for an example. Remember when we were going through all of that situation with, um, with the families and the news, and then you started seeing some of the same people at different, um, that's what they said, ma- mass hysteria events, like they were S- like Sandy were, Hook, yeah, Sandy Hook, all that, like they were um, actors. You know, Good morning, what I mean? Tracy. Hey, I'm Tracy. Uh, it just seems it, it seems like a lot like maybe it's been used or it's being used it's been used mm-hmm. against us for years and we just don't we just at this point if they've been using it for so long how hard would it be for us to di- differentiate what's yes. real and what's not ufos you know what i'm saying what if that shit is what if they're using artificial intelligence to make it seem like there's stuff going around you know what i mean for a different for a different reason. But what if they're using oh. artificial intelligence to make it seem like nothing is wrong and shit is actually coming out? Well, I used to always say every time when Trump was in presidency, because that's when a lot of the mass shootings would happen. Every time that motherfucker stepped in shit, he had like a panic button to like create a mass shooting. Probably. Like it was always every time he stepped in dog shit, it was like a you mass correct. shooting would happen a week later. I'm like, Jesus. Yeah, bro. Like he just stepped. He just stepped in dog shit, and a mad shooting happened. You're correct about that. Yeah, yeah. Just, I think you're think about, spot on. Think about the people who who've gone away and then come back. We'll use a uh, Gucci man for example. That man went to jail one way, came back a whole different person, looking wise, the whole nine. And people are saying that he isn't really Gucci man. You know what I mean? What if that motherfucker is an is an AI robot? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You don't, like, need, you don't need him to be an AI robot because just like people like uh, Sexy Red, um, Ice Spice, and that's all the thing of them, about they it. Just, they, they, they just they need just, to be they just AI use or not because we don't know what technically what the end game is. So they could well, be put you. in different in different areas of different uh, uh, of different cultures, different religions. People are AI could be put into those situations to help deter uh what people believe or what they think you know what well, i mean just, and, and something saying, as simple as gucci man could have been an experiment i'm not saying that that's well, really the case you know what i mean i fuck well, with gucci man but i'm just saying to use that as an example it well, it could I, just be a uh, um a test he could be the test subject for us you yeah, know what I mean? got test subject. I just said them three, them three rappers, including the the Suki Sukiyan and all that shit like that. You, you always wonder, like, how how do they become hot? What music do they really have that's any fucking good? And you and you look at them and you say they don't really fucking do anything musically wise, but they are inspiring a whole new generation of hoes in in the black community of young women degrading themselves and and, and and not having no real fucking standards like sexy yeah. red promotes fucking having stds and having unprotected sex and usually you'll look at a person like that like he's a dirty bitch like why would you even mention that you're getting burnt or getting stds and and you happy about that shit like and bitch. you promoting that shit and people fucking with it so, so there, there's already industry plants like that, but like this whole AI with this whole new shit is, is like I said, it's, it's scary. Out. Go ahead, Dre. So I think I think that's right. Let's let's talk about what what would the government have to gain by not controlling us? Mass I think that's a, that's a good question Civil by war. not control, by Civil not war. controlling us. Right. So. Yeah. Not, it, so we have to assume that the government is controlling this. So the government controls things, at least from my understanding, which I don't understand very much. I'm not going to pretend to understand everything through media. It's been that way for years with the news. I do. I've told y'all for years. I don't watch the news. Nigga, tell me you ain't watching. Why? What is it going to tell me that my weather app can't tell me? Because that's all I'm watching it for. But all the stories and shit. 
No, because it's designed to, you know, like control your moods, either keep it light or keep it. There are there are companies that are up over top of everything that control a bunch of shit that control the news. If it's a if it's a story about a certain politician or a certain company, they are told not to run it because it could damage the. You understand? So that means the news can be controlled, which means we are controlled by the news. All right. Perfect. The current state of the world is I do everything off of my phone, every single thing off of my phone. I get my news from my phone. I get uh, I get everything from my phone, social interaction with my phone. They infiltrated that shit a long time ago once they saw how popular MySpace is and Twitter is. Right. They said we can use this. Why you think Mark Zuckerberg has been called to the fucking whatever the fuck that shit is so many times? Y'all think that nigga won those cases? No, he did not. All that shit is control. Well, let's circle back. Like... Let's circle back to uh, George Floyd. <clears throat> All right, and that whole era, that whole thing. Sorry, y'all. COVID was a big experiment. Sorry, I, I know that people lost loved ones. Oh, yeah. People lost friends. I have too. But it was a huge experiment. They saw what they can get off while they had all y'all niggas on the phone at the same time. And guess what? They controlled the shit out of everything. Well, think about that shit. They, um, a lot of people, a lot of scientists that was studied in the field and, and dealt with, you know, certain viruses like that, or even the virus COVID, that had legitimate reasons and 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 data to back it up with shadow ban, because what they were saying to do didn't go with you getting the shot or or or. Or getting the fucking what is it the updated shot or this shot or that the Moderna all this shit, so it's like we're shadow banning you because you're giving people information that could possibly help them, but we don't want to help them. We want them to go pay for this shot. We want this pharmaceutical company to fucking generate billions of dollars. You know, I can and lie. They had to go back, and they didn't even apologize for fucking doing that shit. Look at Joe Rogan; his podcast was in so much heat. They was talking about people when he was talking talk about he was taking horse medication to later on later on find out that that medication that he was promoting actually fucking worked to help slow down COVID. And nobody has apologized to him yet. I I, I don't even know what what yeah, you didn't I hear about that? No. Well he was a lot of po- medication. No, it was a horse medication. It was medication he was I forgot what it's called, but it was a uh Better remember. Uh it it horse helps. Well, it's not horse tranquilizer. Basically, horse he was all. taking this basically he was taking this medication horse to all. help him <laughs> help him help him with help him with dealing with COVID so he wouldn't have to get this shot. CNN later ran the news and said he's taking horse medication and said, okay. you know, y- y'all like y'all, like being like a cowboy, y'all bet not believe in what he's taking. And a lot of podcasts that have signed, you know. Scientists that was in this field of study for dealing with viruses like that on their podcast, trying to break down the truth, and they was fucking ridiculed. And the scientists that was on there was fucking shadow banned. To later confirm now that these guys were right what they were saying, and the podcast was right. And Joe said something. He said, "Think about it. If I, if we was podcasters, and we went around spreading lies about a disease that came out, and making you get this fucking false shot, and everything we said." Half of it was uh, half of it was false, and then the news was reporting the real thing. And later on, it came out to find that the news was right. They will fucking shut fucking podcast down immediately. You yes, will sir. not podcast. It'll be a fucking a huge ban on what podcasters can and cannot say. The news did not have that happen to them. No, because they are, and the, the people who own the fucking which we'll call it companies own the news companies too. I, that's why I'm listen. I, I know we're getting into conspiracy. Maybe we didn't want to get into conspiracy, but I think I'm we're just talking back. the truth. No, I'm gonna think. I think yeah. we're just talking the truth. Well, all I gotta say, if I want to sway the public, is when you say something, I say when you say something that's true. All I gotta do is say, "Oh man, Kevin, Kevin." Kevin got people up in arms. Kevin from the Opinionated Podcast has everyone up in arms about blah, 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 blah. If I'm a credible source or if I'm viewed as a credible source, it don't matter if you got, you can have nobody up in arms. But me saying it makes a person who is easy to sway believe that 
you have a whole bunch of other people rising up against you. So even you saying that they said that about Joe Rogan. Oh, people are very angry about what Joe Rogan says. Who are these people and how do we know? How do they actually know? Who are they going? Are they going to talk to thousands of people? No, they're just saying like, oh, I saw a comment that said that he's wrong. So people are up in arms about. So that makes more people believe that and go against what he's saying and do not believe it. It's all control. Not only well, that, but they why. could control the comments that are being made as well. They could be yeah. the ones creating these comments to make it seem like something that it's not. You know what I'm saying? And and that puts everything in an uproar. Okay, well, if if nobody is in a disagreement with him, we'll just create some people who don't like what he's saying. Correct. Simple. Well, that's, well, that's the thing, man. Like, people on social media for the most part, try to report much as much factual news as they can. Some of them do, and some try to promote the factual shit. A lot of them, what they don't do is they don't fucking go do a deep dive and investigation to the shit. They just hope that it's true and think that the government is hiding from you, and they just plaster it all over their page. Oh, the world's flat. The moon and the sun really doesn't exist. And it's like, hey, you look at it like, why are you saying that? Well, because we're being controlled Science. and we should we should know the truth. And it's like, yo, what proof do you have? Like, what studies have you really done? Have you have you really gotten into the field and trying to figure out what you're saying is facts? Or is you you just making some shit up? Just like the recent John, the Terrence Howard shit. Talk about interview. it. I haven't watched it yet, by the way, but go ahead. Great interview. Good. Great interview. I know. I well, know. I keep hearing about it. I haven't got a chance to. A lot of stuff that he said, he looked at it like, oh, it might make sense. But when you say his shit makes sense, it upsets the apple cart of a lot of scientists that's like, that's mad about the shit he's saying. And it's true. People say. And not, not what only that, say. but what this man, what this man as, a, as an actor, you know, in a an accredited actor who is good at his job has it's clearly created, not an idiot. At, well, well, not only that, but the things that he has created himself, mm-hmm. the shit that he's that he's putting patents on, and things like that, um, is first of all, it's fucking amazing when you hear this man talk about the shit that he has. And I don't know how far it is to be true, but when they were on Joe Rogan, he was actually reading the shit that he has and they were saying that he had a patent for it. Mm-hmm. It's yeah, like, yeah, okay, think- well, like he said, he's he's just, people look at him as, oh, you're just an actor. You can't know these type of things. You well, can't be that it. type smart of a, you can't be that smart of a person because if you were that smart of a person, you wouldn't be an actor. You would be, no, it doesn't make sense. That part, that logic in itself doesn't make sense. But what does make sense is if he's capable of changing the world to make things easier, mm-hmm. it seems like they don't want that. They want well, they want the world to be harder because what? That's how they make their money, right? That's how they 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 get their power. Uh, you know what I mean? Control all of that shit. You do gotta watch that shit, Dre. I mean, listen to that shit. But, we'll but the thing shit, about the thing I was watching about Terrence Howard is it's I'm not gonna lie. When you initially turn it on, it's rough at the beginning because he says you do. Because at the beginning, he says he remembers being in his mom's stomach, he remembers being born. I heard that part. So it's like you you part. gotta look past that shit. Cause the first thing that pops up in your mind is this nigga's crazy. That's the first thing I said. So I so I immediately turned the interview off and I had to clear my thoughts and like get that get that out of my head. Like, yo, don't look at this nigga like he's crazy. Just sit back and actually listen to him. But I gotta let this this shit where I feel this bullshit process a little bit. Let me process it. Then I went back to the interview and I listened it with an open mind instead of saying the first 15 minutes of this nigga's talking, this nigga sounds crazy. Everything he's gonna say from here on out is fucking crazy and i don't want to hear it so i actually did the due diligence of just processing that shit and just like let me just get back to the pure interview which was great but the comments after that is like you see a lot of people on the internet he's a fucking actor he thinks he knows he he knows so much Mm -hmm. there's all a bunch of dudes that look like they were he said some real interesting shit 
Yeah, real interesting were. shit. I mean, the nigga actually said he said that he used to have dreams of when he was younger about um like this person directing him on what to do with his life and how he should do this and how he should do that. And as he was talking about shit and getting into it, then he came back to him and was like come to realize that the dream, the person that was talking to me, I always, you know, the voice was always sounding familiar to me. I just could never figure out who that person was. And it was actually the older state of me telling me what I need to do in my younger state to bring me to where I am right now. Hey, older me. Come on. Nigga, where is my older? I'm <laughs> here on. now. And I'm looking at myself like, nigga, you my higher self. Where, why couldn't you, why couldn't you go back and be like, nah, nigga, you don't want to do this. <laughs> you know, well, they like, said, well, not to get too often deep into the woods, but if you ever start reading the Emerald Tablets, a little bit of it, it said the reason, I have to maybe read. the reason, the reason he can tap, probably can tap into that because his mind is open. They say the same thing about the Emerald Tablets. If, you're, if, you're, if you don't come at it with an open mind, the knowledge won't, you won't be able to receive the knowledge. You'll okay. always look at it in a, in a skewed way. And maybe that's what's happening on with people in the government. Maybe because we're told what to believe so much we are not actually saying let me block out this bullshit and let me actually see what's real and what's fake the majority of people can be controlled because we've been um and i had a point to prove i had a point about the terrence howard thing i'll get back to that but the majority of people can be controlled because we've been trained to be controlled our whole life what choices have you been making like in all honesty what choices have you been making if i take if i told you right now hey man if let's let's i'll snap my fingers and you don't have to make money anymore like everything all your needs all your dreams anything that you want will be taken care of would you be doing the same thing that you do now for a living no no right if everybody would and i'm and i and i guarantee you the answer wouldn't be oh i would do nothing cuz that's that's not your purpose like I sat in a living room for a long time searching for a job and didn't have nothing to do. That is the worst thing for a man, period. The worst, worst, worst thing. You feel like shit because you're not, you're not, you're not doing anything that's in your purpose. So you're not producing, you're not, producing, you're not being, you're not leaving a legacy or anything. My point being is that that's control right there, right? Everybody's doing something that they don't want to do to make money so they can live. You're already controlled. Yeah. Now I can just yeah. guide you where I want you to go at that point. You know what I'm saying? From yeah. elementary school. Yeah. Go ahead. You want to hear something crazy? I got more points, but this. go ahead. No, I'm <laughs> telling you something about your point that you just gave me. They did that. They did experiment with like that with a gorilla. They taught a gorilla sign language. And the gorilla was happy and everything like that. And through the sign language, they started telling the gorilla eventually he would die. He didn't have no concept of death. What kind of so fucked by, up person would do that? People did this. Yo, an experience. yo, how you gonna sit down with a gorilla? You're gonna die. Yeah, kept bringing to him like you know your life is a short. You have a short time to live on this planet. What? Wind up giving the fucking the gorilla depression because he's seen his mortality. He's like, yo, why am I here? Like, what is my purpose? Like, I'm gonna die eventually. The gorilla got depressed because all the gorilla knew at the time that whole concept of you know a the deaf and you got to do this you got to do this because you got a short amount of time he didn't know that all he knew was eat survive live and enjoy what i have in front of me so he was always in bliss when he found out he was had was here for a short amount of time and he had something to accomplish he got depressed but go ahead that's what i want to tell all right you. that now that leads me into the woods just give me a second and i'll get back to yeah, terrence howard about to say, imagine ape shit right there Imagine if, because I do believe that there's a thing out there. Imagine if, just like the movies, there was a facility and you were born into a facility. Rather than being taught what you are taught now, normal society-wise, let's say you were taught that you can jump 36 feet in the air. And they're telling you every day, like, oh, yeah, this is, oh, by the time you're this age, you should be like a scientist or something. And they're saying you should be able to run 37 miles per hour. You should be able to jump 36 feet in the air. Um, you should like all this Superman shit. You should be able to punch through this wall. And they every day they test you on it. Don't you think that over time, because you believe it, because it's the power of belief. I don't care what nobody says. It's the placebo effect. The power of belief. A person should be able to do those things. Because just like the whole mom lifting a car off a baby or off a kid thing. 
right? That was, do- I believe, was documented, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's documented. You yeah. can do superhuman things either if you have to or if you believe that you can. So my thing is if they have a facility that that people are, I don't know shit about the outside world. All I know is that. Don't you think they would be able to do at least 20 feet in the air, 10 feet in the air? Right? Yeah. Think yeah, about they that. They play the NBA. So, yeah. all right, all right, let me go back. 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 Well, they wouldn't know about the NBA. Let me go back. There's this thing about there's this thing about fleas being able to have a 36 inch vertical, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Take the flea, you put that flea with the 36 inch vertical in a mason jar and close the lid. That is about what five inches. It jumps, hits the lid, jumps, hit the lid, jumps, hit the lid, jumps, hit the lid, right? The the kid, the, the flea has babies. Say there's a female flea in there. I don't fucking know how they procreate the kids grow up to see them jumping five feet and now it thinks it only can jump five feet and their kids do the same exact thing where they only jump five inches five inches five inches over time everybody there is gonna be like yeah man you about to get your five inch vertical you that's what you can do that's the only thing you can do now think about how long that's been going on with humans and what we can actually do and what we should actually do and that's because that was a real you, that's you, a real experiment yeah, conducted. Was, yeah, but but when you look at that experiment right there, you're you're not only changing their habitat, but basically their world. You're creating a new world, a new community right there for them because they're mm-hmm. boxed in. They don't know what's on the outside of that, kind of like us on Earth. Correct. You know what I'm saying? We we feel like our potential we is now, maxed bitch. out. They feel like it, it feels like your potential is maxed out to do maybe a certain amount of things and everything else seems impossible mm-hmm. you know and we really don't know what our capabilities are they say we only use what 10 percent of our brain that's what they what tell the you yeah that's what they tell you who, what if you only what fuck, if you really only use five percent you know what i'm saying who's a motherfucker that use the other 90 percent that's telling us we're only using our 10 percent? i always wanted that who is this motherfucker that all a, who uses 100%? That's what I'm saying. I mean, I Who is know, the motherfucker about, that says, I'm using 100% you just of said, my brain. Think about you guys are only using said, 10%. Though. You said that, you know, the whole instance with the mother being able to do superhuman things when her child is in danger. What if you're turning on a different side or a different part of your brain that helps you build up these quote unquote superhuman abilities so it's access you know what if there's yeah what if what if there's just parts of your mind that you can't access that uh you you, it would would create you could create different um options for yourself oh i could jump higher oh i could punch through a different I i could punch through a wall i could run 36 miles an hour you know what i mean we don't we don't know how to train that part of us correct you know, yeah, you know before. what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all done that. Y'all done that experiment before. Who? Yeah, I know all of y'all have. You fucking see a a bag or a Explain. box on the ground. Y'all seen a bag or a box on the ground? And you automatically assume that he's heavy as fuck, and when you go to grab it, initially you pick it up. It feels heavy, and then you wind up fucking almost throwing your fucking shoulder out, lifting that bitch up, realizing there's nothing in there. But the initial grab is like, oh shit, it's a lot of shit in here. Your yeah, but that's just you like presuming. Well, yeah, different, but okay. Kicking. Yeah, but no, like... you act when you first initially grab that box. That motherfucker feels heavy. Your mind is already telling you this shit is heavy, and when you grab it, you feel like that little. You feel that resistance, so you start to put more strength into, it and you realize there's nothing in this fucking box, and you damn near throw your shoulder out. So it's the placebo effect. It's a placebo effect with everything you do. Then, if I tell you, if I tell you that, hey, I'm gonna give you a pill. Like, say if you, but you, it's now, I feel like it's more than just telling you something, though. You have to believe it. Yeah. And I think the real, I think the real thing is belief, which you can train. You can train belief. You can train belief until you know that it's a fact, right? It's, it's, it's brain plasticity on that, on that level where you can just start to train your brain to start to fire different neurons, right? So, It's like learning a new skill at your age. Okay. What you're doing when you're learning a new skill is you're just training your brain to know that you can do it. It's it's really that simple. It's just that we do it a lot slower. You know what I'm saying? 
And and the yeah. placebo, if I'm telling you right now, let's say you're in a let's say you're in a I don't want to put anything bad on us, but let's say you're in a somebody's in a cancer ward, right? With experimental drugs. They have people in there that don't have cancer, but they might give you the appearance of people who have cancer. And they say all of them, and you see all of them getting better by doing this experimental drug. And they tell you, oh, this thing has a 98% cure rate. And you physically see everybody getting better around you. Once they give you that, once they give you that drug, your body, because you believe it, is going to start to repair itself, which means you always had that shit could be a sugar pill. Which means your body already had the 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 know how to do it. You're just hacking it, or they're hacking it. Y'all don't think that's interesting? Yeah. yeah, because your brain, your eyes, and everything. You when you, that's why you always see these kids that are fucking like autistic and can't talk. They can seem to do a fucking amazing shit. Like the kid that was autistic. And just flew over the New York skyline and came back and just fucking with two pins, just drew out what he see. Because everything else is shut the fuck off for him. You get what I'm saying? Like his body, oh, cool. you you think that this, you know, his emotions are shut off. It, 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 him being in touch with society, all that shut off. So his body is, is allowed for him to have this amazing ability to draw or hear something and repeat it. Or like hear music and just fucking played out as he as he heard it perfectly. Mm. Same thing could probably happen for us. Happen for us. If we was able to shut down certain parts, like our vision was shut down, and we shut that down, we can do amazing things. It's just that we don't. We fucking, like you said, we're that flea in the jar. We're told this is it, and that's all we can do. So I can't well, do what this kid can do, which I probably can. You probably but, can, and even more. Yeah, I don't. But I won't. I'm not accessing this because. Somebody's telling me I can't do it. Somebody's telling me I have to go to school to be an artist. Uh -huh. to, draw, to draw this type of photo. You must be taught to do this. Where this kid never had any fucking kind of training, visibly just seen the skyline and drew it out perfectly as he seen it. Or heard this perfect sympathy. Sympathy. What's uh symphony? Symphony. Oh, it's symphony. okay. Symphony heard it. Perfectly and replayed it back key for key perfectly. But you would tell me I would need piano lessons my whole entire life to get to that point. Now, now I, do I believe, limited myself. I do believe that we are all born with certain switches turned on and certain switches turned off. Or mm -hmm. certain certain things you do are going to be better than another person. I do believe that. Like I there, there's gifts. I do feel like, and I've said this before, I do feel like my gift that God has given me is creating. I, I can't tell you exactly what I create, but I'm a creative guy. I'm not a, I'm not a guy who enjoys doing much else, but creating that really locks my brain in. That's just the way I express myself. There's a lot of other people who don't express themselves that way. And when you tell them that they're like, Oh no, nah, but I can make money. You know, I can, I can get this money though. And they have that gift of being able to figure out how to make more money or whatever they do. There's other people who can figure, Certain people have certain things that are turned on in their brain and certain things that just aren't their interest and they don't know how to lock in on them. So I, I do believe that as well. But let me ask y'all a question. Those same people to bring it back to Terrence Howard who doubt Terrence Howard. Ask them if milk does a body good. And they say yes, when it's within truth. Because that's what they used to tell us. Within truth, it does not do a body good. It's actually bad for you. That's why people yeah, are you're not a fucking cow. Yeah, right. You don't break it down like a cow does. Everybody's lactose you intolerant. I try to explain that to people. Like, yeah. yeah, you're you're lactose intolerant. You just may be able to tolerate it a little bit more than others. But when that milk gets in your system, it is not doing it. It is not making your bones stronger. It is making no. your duties softer. Oh. <laughs> All right, and you are going to realize that <laughs> when you that was shit good. yourself. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was fucking funny. <laughs> but but yes, but that's the shit that they'll believe, and that's the thing. You accept the little you accept the little things that they kind of push into you, but then somebody is saying that, oh, he was wrong about X, Y, and Z. Well, the government that you believe in so much was definitely wrong about that and told it to you as if it was fact. When I say government, remember they had the food pyramids. 
They taught it to you in school. They didn't teach you how to fucking balance your checkbook. They didn't teach you yeah. how to pay your taxes. They didn't teach you yeah. how to do mm. anything useful. But mm, they taught speak. you about that food pyramid. Mm -hmm. Right? Yep. And dairy all up, up in there. there. Yep. Dairy all up in there. Mm, yeah, yep. bro. That's Crazy. indoctrinating. It's indoctrinating like... the public. <laughs> you well, got tits. That's, Women that's the bread. thing about that's the thing about <laughs> that's the thing about watching the Terrence I have, Howard. I have breast, I have titties, Greg. Can you milk Can me? Can you milk me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna watch that's that. the thing. That's the thing about the whole like this whole world. Is how many how many celebrities you saw with a milk mustache? Real quick. Oh, a lot. A billion. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Everybody yeah. that was cool. Told you, George. Jordan, Jordan had one. Yeah, Jordan, Michael Jordan was that guy. Got milk. But that's what I'm yeah. saying. Anytime they got make, milk. anytime you don't see that shit no more, do you? No, because anytime they want to make you fucking <laughs> got believe <soy> something, <laughs> or, or or anytime the gut, anytime society want to make you believe something, they put somebody that you hold up here in front of your face and say he does it. Why can't you? Somebody might be speaking the truth that really did the fucking knowledge, really went through the books and everything, and he's bringing it to you. Oh, he's crazy, or dead. Like, how, why? Like, like, why is he crazy? Like, you, when you hit, when you listen to Terrence, Terrence Howard shit, you listen. You like, man, some of this shit seems a little off. What's that? The, the company's book that... of herbal remedies. Mm. Yeah. Stuff like That's that, and people say that wasn't available. those people. Those those people are whack jobs. There's there's books. There's books that don't even exist anymore that are taken out of publication because they give you the truth and you can't fucking find it. it. It just, man, it just like when I heard the Terrence Howard interview, I'm the shit was just too smart for me to understand. And when he did Rogan the one was time, saying the same shit. Rogan even apologized to him because he was like, he was like, I want, I want to apologize to you because I, he was like, I want to know exactly what you're saying because i feel like i'm kind of like holding on but i have no idea like what you're actually talking about and some things i kind of know and some I'm things kind of like yeah well you know what i mean well, he said the one, a, lot the one, of, a lot of shit he one just times didn't one thing. know about yeah and then and then when he started bringing up his patents and some proof and and all the major companies in the world that uses his mm -hmm. ideas without him being paid for it Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It, it, this shit was, man, that shit was interesting as hell. But, but that's what I'm saying. He's, when he said the one times one thing, he's like, it just, that kind of like, it's like, oh, is he, is he right? That's he the shit he's been preaching for a while. Yeah. Because if you do five times five, which is 25, it's like you take five things and you multiply and you give it to you five times equals 25. So if I give you one thing, and another thing, times it by and times it by one other thing, you know, then you have one two. other thing. You're supposed to get two, but it actually is like one, or if you times one by nothing, you get nothing. But one then one times nothing equals nothing. I guess nothing would equal nothing because if you have nothing and you go against nothing, it means nothing. But he said, if you break that in down, physical, he said, he said, he said, if you how how it plays in the physics. They said you can't destroy or uh you can't destroy matter, it can only transfer. So that's mm -hmm. what he said. That's why it doesn't add up. So you telling me if I give you one thing of energy times zero, it won't exist no more. I'm like, damn, he's kind of right because they do yes. say you can't destroy energy or matter or destroy something, but the multiplication the, the 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 math max they're using to fucking get these equations to go to other planets or whatever or say a star exists here is like it don't exist because you're saying this energy if energy times one times nothing it won't exist no more it's like it doesn't make sense so it, it was just yeah. kind of weird man speaking of I, existing and not existing to get back to like the ai scenario and what's real and what's not real the whole purpose of i feel like them creating AI is to have some sort of intelligence that's beyond us in a sense, something that can calculate things that Do we can't faster. Yeah. But what if 
they create this AI and then this AI is looking at them like, yo, you know that this is wrong, right? Y'all been preaching this your whole life. Well, this whole zero times one answer. ordeal. You know what I mean? And they're and they're and they're creating different things with a different thought process with different math. And and sure. you come to realize that, oh shit, what if people were actually stifling us purposely throughout math? So we can't well, said, get and achieve these 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 ob objectives that maybe they're already able to achieve. Sure, you know. Well, Terrence Howard said the math is off, and he said they should be really trying to correct it because he said, which is true, which is which is fact that the Earth is slowly drifting away from the sun, and right now the Earth <clears throat> is what's called we're in what's called the green zone. It's like life. This is the zone that life can perfectly exist without it being too hot or being too cold or being too expo exposed, you know, to the universe. And we're slowly drifting away from this green zone. And there's other planes that's going to drift into this green zone or is in the green zone. And he said, our math got to be right because in order to go, like, say, we're going to take a rocket and go to this other place that's in the green zone, our math got to be precise. And getting us to this planet and not throwing us all by a fucking million miles. Now we're just lost in the vacuum of space when we only had enough resources just to get from our planet that's dying to another planet that can sustain life. And he said yeah. that's the main reason that they should be looking into getting this, you know, getting this math right. But we got a couple, I think he said a million or a billion years before the earth is out of the green zone. Which oh, that's okay, I won't be here. I won't be here, and that's and that's another thing that that makes us like with like kills these humans. Like we think we know so much, but like we are fucking so insignificant in this thing called space and in time because we're not even here for like a a blink of fucking how long this the universe I, existed. That's why I believe in different planes, different planes of existence. I don't believe in just well. I, I'm not going to say believe, but I don't think there's different. I don't think there's one plane of existence. It, it, it doesn't make any sense. If we, if we all believe that there are spirits that may come and visit, they can't be in the physical form. They can't be in the three dimensional world. They have to be in another dimension. Correct. We might not yeah. call it dimensions. You might call it the spiritual plane, or you might call it whatever you want. Heaven, you might, whatever, but there's, we clearly, everybody has, been in a position where you might hear something and you know oh shit that wasn't that wasn't a person right yeah. am i wrong you felt no, something I've... come into the room and you're like okay the air displacement i felt that and heard that what the fuck yeah. is in here right yeah. so to me we know that there's not just one plane of existence that right there should open your mind up to what the fuck is out there so we do not exist we only exist in this physical meat sack for a certain amount of time and then we move on energy is not created not created or destroyed or whatever however the saying goes yeah. so you can't destroy always transfer yeah. just transfer so my understanding is yes we're here on the physical plane this part for a certain amount of time but then we move on and then we have other things that are you know our existence you know transfers into or whatever we do with that being said this just might be how can I say it? Because it's a physical world. This just might be where we're kind of locked in for a while, but you just might hit different dimensions within it. Well, so you know what I'm saying. Something put us here. We might just we might be. Uh, Think of your dreams. We might might be yep. a, we might be in a simulation. We might be might be fucking. You don't know. We might be fucking. I'm gonna say deeper than that. We might be traveling through space right now. And don't even know it. And our conscious. This is a way of keeping our conscious that'd be alive. Crazy. That'd be crazy. Just so can, we, can you dive deeper into that? Let's dive deeper into it. Pretend, pretend saying, it is. You, Tell me how it would fly, be. I'm serious. You just like this planet was dying. They say, hey, you're going to have to go in these capsules. Ooh. We're about to take a mm -hmm. journey a million miles away. But in order to keep your brain from dying, because your brain you needs to be alive to keep it fine. We're gonna put in the stasis. You're just gonna probably keep reliving this fucking dream over and over and over again, and you just or maybe not even laying out your life, dream. thinking maybe. that you die, and then you just come right the fuck back and play it out just to keep your fucking brain active, and you don't even realize it. And the people that and you then you'll probably wake up all fucking are the people that you're connected with 
in the same sleeping chambers, it's you crazy. know, that you know in, in that other itch. life. Like us three, we're connected on the ship some way, somehow. And to keep our brains from not forgetting each other when we come back, you know, it uses assimilation of us still knowing each other, still having the relationships that we have, you know what I mean? And going through life and that's just nuts. That's a, that well, is no, a crazy think about it. I, would like crazy. I would go it's crazy. Cool, I would go crazy. I would go crazy if I figured out everything my kids that I think are here or not here. I would try to shut this system down. Like, yo, these this is not real. These things that I love and I hold so dear is not real to me. Like, I would try to shut it down. Well, have have y'all ever heard of people being in like a coma or being out cold and like it be three yeah. minutes that go by, but to them they lived a whole lifetime and they wake up like, oh my gosh, that person I married, like like they go through mo the mourning process. Because yeah. the people that they, whatever the emotional connections yeah. that they've created in their head are real to them. So they mourn that person that they were married for 30 yeah. years, but they might have been in a coma for three days. Yeah. Man, that to me, that's insane. That's that's a <clears throat> smaller version of that. Yeah, right? Yeah. That's a smaller yeah. version of what we're talking about. And that's yeah. in the now. We we hear we you understand? That's what the brain can do. So technically, my buddy, my buddy talks about this all the time. He says, yo, your brain, he was like, yo, really, none of this shit is here. And my, my boy, he crazy, like he ain't crazy, but like he thinks far out. Like he's a very intelligent guy. He's the one that been telling me about all the herbs and shit like that. Before I read the book or whatever, I'm like, yeah, man, my let's say your prostate is fucked up. Oh no, you got to take some better for root. The fuck is you talking about? And then you I look into this book. Sure enough, and this years later, same shit he told me. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. This nigga's crazy. But anyway, he said, yo, none of this shit here. I said, what do you mean, bro? I'm at work on the phone with him. What the fuck you talking about, bro? Nah, man. Your brain just, in, you know, your brain just sitting in your head. All it has is your eyes to tell. It's, it's all information coming in. Your eyes and your ears, your nose and your, and your sense of touch just gives your brain information. So really, none of this shit is actually here. I'm like, damn, he explains it better than that, obviously. But I'm just like, damn. So when you think about it, your brain is just creating everything, all the information that you're getting. Your brain is creating it. So when you think about the person who's been in the 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 a coma for third for, for three days and created a life that the person still had sense of smell, sense of touch, sense of sight, sense of hearing, an emotional connection. Yeah. It's like what the fuck is this a simulation like kev says is this a simulation that's there's an upper fucking you know stratosphere that i just don't know yet God damn. think about it i was just we just talking about that fucking earlier about how people are or people are blind or or, oh, or deaf how people who deaf when they touch something they hear the vibrations and you tell them to repeat how it sounds to them and they just you know, they can't devil. verbally say, yeah, they can't fucking communicate to you. They just mimic of what they heard of what the vibrations they felt because their brain can't process the sound coming in, the sound waves to tell the brain, oh, this is what's being said. It's just your brain is like, all I can go off is the vibrations that your hands feel and your body feel and what I see the mouth doing. And that's the best I can mimic it for you. It's the best I can mimic. That's it. the best yeah. job I can do and mimic it for you. So that's what I guess what he said when he yeah. see when he says you're you like if I see a flower, like if I see a flower, if I see a okay. flower is in the distance, just a flower. Right. And I see millions of flowers all my life. The first thing I say, I see that flower, it's like, oh, I bet it smells good. And I can say, well, what I bet if I take a whiff of that flower, that fragrance is gonna be good. It's gonna make me feel good, and I'm gonna have a sweet smell in my and and you know, I'm going to get this sweet smell in my nose that I can feel in my tongue. And you get closer to that flower, you smell that flower. And there's flowers out there that smell like shit. You just smell like, oh, yeah. you like. But my brain already told me this flower is supposed to sm smell fucking good. And I couldn't. But when I got it, it just threw me off. It's like, you lied to me, brain. Can I make everybody feel better real quick? You lied to me, brain. It's funny as shit. Well, no, but think. Oh, here go one more experiment. Lied to me, brain. One more. Here go one more. 
<laughs> a car, a car in front of you, their tail lights is out. Mm -hmm. They're driving, and you're thinking you don't realize that they're getting close. They hit the brakes. You don't realize you're getting close up on them. You fucking rear end them. Because you don't have that signal in your brain that says that red light comes on in the back of that car. It's all that training. means that car is that means that car is slowing down or stopping. That means I got to do the same thing and stop. My brain wasn't able to pick it up. I didn't have the visuals to tell me this car stopped, even though I'm noticing I'm getting close and I'm getting close up on this yeah. car. It's another it's, thing. It's training, training for your brain. Like your brain yeah. has been trained since you've been younger. And it's hard to get out of the it's it's regular training because the brain is something of routine as well. That's why dogs is, dogs are the same way. Their brains are smaller, so they understand it on a different level. But you train their brains. That's why my dog every day, if I go wiggle my wiggle the wiggle his leash, he jumps from wherever he is and runs to the door in the morning. Runs to the door and look at me like, all right, let's go. Hmm. That's just his routine. Yeah. Same thing with us. We're routine. We just have rather than his. I ain't going to say five or six, but rather than his maybe a hundred routines, we have maybe a million routines, little tiny micro routines that are triggered by certain things, sounds, smell, uh, taste, emotion, emotion. That's a big one. That's a big one. Um, but I was going to say, let's, let's make each other feel better real quick. Which one makes sense? Your loved one who has passed away, Right. Can they, are they just gone forever? Like, that's why I mean by we live, like, it's it's more than one, it's more than one uh, realm or whatever the fuck you want to say. Does it make sense that they're gone forever? Or does it make sense that when we also die, that we rejoin them on some other type of, type of plane? You, you understand what I'm saying? Uh, like, it doesn't make sense to me that they're just gone think. and you never, ever connect with them forever. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. I said, I had to drink about that. You can still feel happen. them. You can right. still kind of feel still the smell them sometimes. Them. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes yeah. you can smell them and you know, like they're around, especially people you have a really deep connection with. You know what I mean? Like, That's right. why I was saying, like, go back to what Kev yeah. said. We was in a ship. Imagine if they woke up before we did. It's, you know how they'd be like, oh, well, it's just your time. But imagine if, if it's their time. And imagine our time on, on this plane is just longer than that time on the ship. You know what I'm saying? So when they wake up, what if they're taking care of you while you're laying? You know what I mean? And just, you know, oh, I'm checking up on them. I'm making sure this is they're they're okay. I'm doing this. I'm talking, I'm talking to them while they're laying here. You know what I mean? And then when you finally wake up. And you're there, they're like, oh, I've been waiting for you. It's been a couple of days. I thought you'd never get up. A couple, a couple of days. Days, nigga. A I couple just lived a whole days. lifetime. I, and I've seen Like you. I lost you just a few years ago. No, you didn't lose me. I just, my capsule opened up. before yours did. And your brain was still, they were still Imagine y'all don't even make look sure the same, everything though. is good. My job was to That'd sleep, a, so I had to wake up and sleep. But I'm still right here. Yeah. yeah. Imagine saying, you waking it, up and recognizing somebody, but but they're not what they look like when you were in a different plane. Like, yeah. What if, what if I look like Andre and Andre looked like me, but Andre was kept. That'd be weird. Was Andre. I'm just saying like, you wake up, fucking weird. but you, but you know it though. When you get up, you, you know just it. look at each other and be like, Hey, yo, like, yo, that joint was crazy. Let's well, do it again. That was a, there go another <laughs> crazy thing. <laughs> We're going no crazy. Let's go back to better life. Let's, Let's see if we get a better back. life this time. In, in, in deja, yeah, program I said better, please. Yeah, please. Deja vu. Your deja vu is just a fucking your tape getting rewinded. Like, ah, we're not using that part of this memory. Let's get rid of that. Some somebody got to explain deja vu. We going I mean, if y'all want to get off of it soon, that's fine. But somebody got to explain deja vu. Because at first, I believe that it was just your brain not processing something correctly. Like, yeah. just like your brain not doing it. But I'm like, well, how does everybody have some weird deja vu? And a lot of times it won't go like I thought. I'll literally wake up in the middle of something that I'm doing. I'm like, this happened before. Somebody's about to walk in and it don't happen. But yeah. I know for a fact that it happened. Somebody's, that somebody's, I have that shit all the time. Like, yo, this ain't supposed to happen. It's, this was supposed, this fucking broom was supposed to fall. I walk in this room. And I remember this fucking broom falling right here. Yeah. Fuck. I didn't. It, 
all right, maybe I'm, and you say, maybe I'm tripping or deja vu. There's somebody looking, what's wrong? I just had some deja vu. Like, I I remember you having yeah. the same exact conversation with me, and this fucking broom fell in the middle of our conversation. Yeah. Like, but or it didn't happen. Scarier, it happens exactly as you kind of felt it happened. Like, you ever have deja vu? Obviously, you don't realize it's deja vu till it's after, but when it's mm-hmm. completely over, you're like, yo, I did this before, period. Yes. Like, I know mm-hmm. that I've, I was like, I either, it kind of feels like you dreamt it. Like, yo, I must have, that's how you, I think that's how you rationalize it. Like, yo, I must have dreamt this or something. But if you were able to dream Mm. something that happens to you in the future, then you would technically be able to predict your future. If you were able to tap into that with the, with in the right way, and you're able to, oh, yo, I'm going to end up doing this. How can I alter that? If I ended up, if if you were able to know what's going to happen to you, you could change your own history, your own future, and be able to be a millionaire or be able to be the world's most smartest person. You know what I mean? Or, however, change see, your whole being. See how much you limited yourself to when you said knowing your whole future. The first thing you said was money. I'm just saying that's the first thing that you think about when you're a person who don't, don't does not have money. Where you live that's in a world I, that we live in, in order for you to get to where you are, where you want to be, or what you need, you need some type of finances. You want to change that's, your that's, future so you can be able to take care of yourself and whomever or do different that's things. How the gov- that's how the government limits you because all you can see is your hand in front of your face, and this is all that's here that's food, money, and power whatever you can't see the rest of the fucking world behind you that you stuff that you might actually r- fucking need or don't need in life so long yeah. think about it man look think yeah, about how many smart fucking the, people how car. many but look how many great artists it was when all they had to worry about was they had a farm that they tilled and their food was right out there and they had they could eat their chickens or pick their crops they were able to create shit you know, create shit like pyramids and fucking these great artworks, these great fucking buildings, because it's like, yo, wasn't you wasn't so focused on fucking just, you know, money, all this. It's like you had so much other things to look at. You was looking at the universe. You was looking at how birds took flight or, or how the how the weather pattern changed or why is these stars here? Like you ain't got who got fucking time to go look up at some stars and say I wonder how this, you know, how the universe really yeah, works. Yeah, but who's who's to say? I think that's that, half right. Yeah, who's yeah. to say that they they didn't have other things that was like money to them? They did these things for cattle. They did these things for land. They did yeah. these things for yeah. food. You know what I'm saying? That's still <clears throat> that's still the equivalent of, of financial stability. They're doing that shit to survive. Right now, in order for us to, if if you had an option of being able to purchase a farm and and be able to just have a farm or grow a farm from scratch and do it from the beginning, which which one are you going to do? It, it, you know it, what it, I mean? Are you going to grow it you know or are you going to have it available? Purchase with all the workers as well to be able to pay them too. So I want to yeah, I want to purchase I, it I, with I the wish workers. You, That's what I'm I saying. Wish I so could have a, look I, for the fastest way to make the most out of what you do. Yeah, but I'm just you know saying, I mean? man, it's just so f- we're we're it will be nice to have a farm because we're so fucked right now. So if the government did if the government decided that all truck drivers were supposed to or or to shut down or you can't move your truck without these certain qualifications and the people are responsible for paying it and you have to pay it in order for these truckers to do that, and you don't want to pay it, but you have to. Because it won't be no fucking food in your grocery store. You don't know how to grow food or find food. This shit comes from a trucker. So guess what you mm-hmm. got to do? You got to pay this tax that you don't want to fucking pay to these government officials to let these trucks move, to get these produce and shores so you can go buy. My wife was just having a conversation mm-hmm. with me today about buying eggs. I said, how much a thing a large eggs cost, babe? She said, depending on what uh, Walmart deems inflation today. Sometimes I get it for $4. Sometimes I get it for 8 Sometimes it's 14 It all depends what Walmart wants to raise the prices to today and if I'm going to pay it or not. Nah, Jimmy Wall, gotta, you got to stop. What's the nigga that on Walmart name? James Wall? 
Fuck that shit. Hey, listen, that's what I'm saying. You will do anything that somebody tells you to do because you don't know how to do anything different. You will pay yes, your sir. electric bill because you don't want to fucking have candles in your house and go back to reading books. You will pay your internet bill because you want your TV to work and you don't care what they raise the price to, but you want your TV to work. You want to be able to play your game. You want to be able to enjoy the internet instead of doing something as simple as going outside and enjoying the, the nice Listen, air. I'm going a, I'm to a tell you right now that life that we talk about exists. And every yeah. one of us, every one of us can can live it. It's not it's not gone from you. You know what that life is, and this is not a joke. Don't think I'm about to get to a punchline or not. You can go be a monk. Or, Monks, or hermit. every literally every or a hermit. Everything that we talking about, that's a monk's. That's a monk's thing. Only thing they search for is enlightenment. So they got. They got time to look at the stars. They got time to do this. They meditate. They 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 hire their vibration and they serve. And they I, I'm I'm gonna assume they grow their own food. They're like a little community of themselves that take care of the community, grow their own food and all that stuff. But they don't want for anything. So the difference between them and us is we kind of succumb to our wants and what we think that we need. Sadly, the world that we choose to live in is a world that in that requires you to pay for things. That's the world that we created for a long, long time. So because we want to, because we have to pay for things, the way to freedom, if we want to enjoy our lives the way we want to, by not doing the monk thing, we have to have an abundance of finances. However that comes, it could be by owning some shit. It can be by you know, going to going to do physical work for it, but we want a, an abundance of finances so that we can live the way we want and do the things we want. If that means charity, if that means building a school, I know we all know if we had a bunch of money, what's the first thing you're gonna do with your neighborhood? You're gonna fucking build a new court or some shit like that, so the kids can. You're gonna do your your part. Mm -hmm. The way to do that is to have some type of financial freedom or an abundance in finances, or we would just go be monks and we could do that right now. What's I so call him up right now. To pop What's so funny about that? Even when you get that abundance of finance, it's still somebody in control of that that can take it all away from you. Yeah, hundred percent. It's crazy. So let's go be monks. Yeah, yeah. I'm down. If y'all down, yeah. we can start our own monastery, bro. I think I uh, should be so lit. Let's uh, let's start this monastery right now. We're gonna end this stream right here and get away uh, from our internet and tools and cameras. <laughs> it's what, the fuck we gonna call, what we gonna call this shit? Uh, enlightenment. The red pill, the blue pill. No. I don't know. Yeah, oh, yeah red, blue, like red pill, blue pill, or enlightenment. Oh, yeah. Something like that. Some shit. I hope but I hope think it should be a part one. Sorry. Part one? Would you want to do a part two yeah. to enlightenment? Yeah, dog, I love yeah, talking about We're in the segment. Matrix. I love it. Well, we're in the Matrix. That, that's the thing. Yeah, I mean, we still alive, but we don't never get into this because we're so fucking. I think we get so caught up, and this is a podcast is listening to this. We get so caught up in what's going on in the outside world and what going on what people want to view and listen to instead of just doing what we what we intended this podcast to be, what was for us. It was a way to be escape. I think these conversations help us escape. It's more fluid. It's more real. It feels more it feels better when I leave this podcast session when I'm actually talking about shit like this. Did that interest yeah. us, but it's an emotional emotional release or emo yeah, so it's, it's connected to our emotions yeah so people that start the podcast man do this as a way to escape your reality because we got enough tiktokers you see them all the time and got enough of them looking for likes and everything like that and they're just in their house every day chasing a new light chasing a new trend chasing who likes them and who doesn't that's why they're that's why so many people have control of their life so easily. One fucking comic can shit, throw them down a shit drain, shithole so fast, and they can't really talk about what they're really passionate about because they're scared to uh, infuriate somebody by giving them the wrong pronoun or saying they got the wrong belief system. We don't. We should just get away from that and be podcasters again. Just saying. Okay. Bye. I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> That's it. I'll see y'all when we wake up. I'll see you when we wake up.